Welcome back to another episode of Big John's Cooking. Today we are doing a corned beef and cabbage. It's going to be delicious. Stick around. All right. We got the corned beef here. It's the uh, the points in of the of the brisket. We got our seasoning package in there. We're going to add some red uh, potatoes. Of course, we gotta have our cabbage for the corned beef and cabbage, and I'm gonna add some carrots to this. Um, this is gonna take about roughly three to four hours to cook. I'm gonna boil it for at least an hour, and then I'm going to uh, take it out of the uh, the solution or the water and um, and roast it in the oven for a couple of hours, you know, for it to render down some of the fat this on it and uh, kind of crispy up the outside of it give it some color and uh, we're going to enjoy this meal stick around all right over medium high heat I'm just going to stick this in to sear just a little bit so we're going to cover this and let it boil for about an hour I rinsed it off, you know, to get some of the solution off of it. And of course, you know, you don't have to, but I did. Uh, so I'm gonna let this go for about six, seven minutes, just to uh, sear a little of that fat. Then I'm gonna, I'm gonna cover it in the water, and we're gonna let it go, like I said, for about an hour. And then we're gonna. Take this out, put it in the oven, let it bake for about two hours at uh, about 300, 350. And we'll add our vegetables to our liquid that we have in the pot. So let's get that done. I'll bring you back as soon as we get this seared off and start adding in our water. All right. Give this a look. Right. Looks good. So basically all we're gonna do is just cover it with water. And I got four cups of water here. I'm probably add a little bit more to that. But we're gonna add in our seasoning package, pickling. And let this go. I'm gonna add about, uh, let's do about two more cups of water at least. I'm gonna bring you back in an hour. All right, it has been an hour. I covered them up, let it go. So I'm just gonna take this out. And add it to my. Oops, I don't throw it out. Hard to get a hook done. Come on out of there. This is on my pan. And I'm going to stick it in the oven, which is preheating at the moment. And we're going to go uh, a couple hours in there. And I'll bring you back and see what we got. I've gone through and I've been skimming a lot of the scum out of here as much as I possibly can and off the sides. And now I'm going to add my veggies to this. Alright, I'm going to add me a little salt to my liquid to cook our potatoes and our carrots and our uh, cabbage so take that in and let this go for about 30 minutes I got my grandbabies over today so they want to help me cook so I'm also adding a little accent to this and a little bit of garlic 
say that's a carrot. Carrot. And a potato. Okay. And then we're going to add some cabbage here in a little bit, right? Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Put that one in there. Yeah, real easy. Just set it down in there. Good job. Good job. That one in there. All right. Thank you very much. All right. Cover that up and let that go for about 10 minutes. All right. He's all done out the oven. I'm going to slice her up. Nice and tender. Still a bit hot. Ooh. You might need to use a fork. Looking good. I'm cutting against the grain. That way it don't crumble up and fall apart. Get this plated up. I'll get right back to you. All right, then results. Everything tastes wonderful. Meat is nice and tender. Veggies are delicious. If you like this, give me a thumbs up. Tell a friend about me. Leave me a comment. And I'll see you on the next one.